Right, here's a lovely 36 and a half pound Wellington Country Park mirror. I caught this morning uh, using a number of Gardner Tackle products. We're going to slip her back and go through the rig. Good afternoon, we're at Wellington Country Park in Reading. You've just seen me return that 36 and a half pounds mirror. This is the rig that I caught it on. I'm going to run you through how I tie it and the products that I used to tie it up. We'll start at the hook end. Uh, the bait I'm using is a mainline 18mm cell bottom bait that's tipped with a 10mm white milky toffee tipper. Um, the hook is a dark covert size 4 mugger. It's a razor sharp hook for a size 4 and has a lovely interned eye, really aggressive, which suits this rig perfectly. The hook link material I'm using is Gardner's Silk Skin in 25 pounds. It's a lovely soft material, really supple, and uh, once again it, it just lends itself to this style of rig and the way I fish perfectly. We then come up to a little anti-tangle sleeve. Obviously when you're casting at range, hit the clip, it just pings everything out, straightens the hook link out, fishing lovely. This is attached to a Gardner leg clip system. Just the tail rubber is generally just nicked on. I like to drop the lead, so I just nick that on. Just there's, there's little grooves there. I just go two grooves along. Fish picks the bait up, shakes its head, leg comes off. Perfect. Behind that, I have about 18 inches of tungsten tubing in silt. Right, I'll talk you through how I tie the rig. It's basically a standard blowback style rig. Uh, I have a couple of slight little tweaks which I feel make a big difference to the hooking potential. It's really difficult for the fish to deal with. And the first one of those is I have a large piece of shrink tube. As you can see there, it's about an inch and a quarter in length do a, a five turn knotless knot to the hook and I just cover that with, this, with the shrink tube. So I have about, I'd say an inch worth of, uh, of shrink tube. I then make a slight break in the hook link material that allows lots and lots of freedom for the hook. This is all, all still relatively stiff even though it's a soft material and that just allows the hook to spin and catch hold on the fish's mouth when it's been inhaled. The fish find it really difficult to deal with. Most of my fish are sort of hooked an inch back in their mouth. The hook will be like that and this is just usually just wrapped around the bottom lip. I place a little bit piece of putty just before the break. This helps pull the hook down. Whenever the fish inhales the bait and tries to eject it, this is always pulling down, pulling down and as you can see, it's just catching every time. Uh, that's basically the rig. Um, it's caught me lots and lots of fish over the last 18 months, up to 55 and a half pounds. I'm sure if you put it into your own fishing, it will help you land some nice fish. Thanks very much. See you soon.